Brown Rudnick is a firm that was formed in 1940s Boston by several lawyers who were incredibly entrepreneurial and started their own business. And that spirit and their success over many years is still part of our spirit and culture now. We had the opportunity to start doing some work in the mid-1990s for some European technology companies. And this is the run-up to the tech bubble on NASDAQ in the early 2000s. And so we opened the office, like any good business, off the back of existing business and followed our clients. I used to come in in the morning and when the computer didn't work, I would unplug it and plug it back in and I would make the coffee. And we all did what we had to do to keep the things moving. And so it was an incredible experience. Brown Rudnick stands out because we know our strengths. We don't try to be everything to everyone. Brown Rudnick operates across a range of jurisdictions and countries. London in the UK, New York, Boston, Washington, Orange County as well. This firm was the first firm that ever beat the tobacco companies many years ago. We are doing opioids, many sexual abuse cases, and in the pro bono sector, we're also doing a lot of voter rights cases. The ability to take on issues, know that you're doing something that you hear other people talk about, you know, it's very exciting for people, undoubtedly. So how has Brown Rudnick changed? Well, one thing I would say, the change isn't important. It's what's remained constant. It's always been a great place to work. From the moment I walked into this office for my interview, I felt the firm was uh, very unique and completely different. It really combined this traditional sense of being um, a counsel to the client uh, with great ambition, really commercial approach, and really innovative uh, focus on uh, new areas of law. A number of us are from larger, more industrial scale uh, law firms. Here we, uh, we set the direction of travel ourselves. The London office is a very significant part of the firm. It's one of the two largest offices in the firm. Strategically very important. You know, it's a very different experience in working in a law firm like ours to working in many of the other bigger law firms. And I think that pays its rewards in terms of the efforts that people put in. The best thing about working for Brown Rudnick for me personally is the, um, the team spirit, the support, and especially the support from my fee earner, the management and my colleagues. And May's been one of my colleagues, yes. Thank you, Laverne. You're welcome. The best thing for working for Brown Rudnick is my colleagues, Laverne especially. Thank you. She's been very nurturing <laughs> and having the chance to work in several departments and also the team spirit. We obviously have a range of talent and experience embedded throughout our office and our firm. And so I think it's quite important to be able to leverage that and give back to the same community that gives us so much, both in work and outside of work as well. We're using Brown Rudnick's talent and the experience and the knowledge throughout all aspects of the firm and in all of the professions that we have here in this firm to be able to give students and young people a leg up to understand what their opportunities uh, are and what they can pursue in their lives. I just started Brown Rodnick and uh, the 100th year anniversary of women being able to be a solicitor in England and Wales was coming up. So Catherine came um, to do the first Woman in Business series and she spoke about her career and the obstacles she faced. We had a pop-up tailor shop um, in the atrium, which was uh, fantastic. And of course, it was a lovely symmetry because during the course of the office's life, which uh, built in about 1720, it had been a tailor shop. So we've been doing it since 2016. We've got a lot more in the pipeline coming along. Um, and, you know, I've learned so much from all our speakers. We have a, a market leading energy transition, climate technology practice. And so really we need to walk the talk. So we've hired Planet Mark to benchmark and give us advice really as, uh, internally as a business ourselves at looking at our own impact on the environment, sustainability, how we can improve. And that's consistent with what our clients are doing. Our clients care about this and we care about this. We work a lot with uh, private equity funds and family offices and at some point more and more of my clients started looking at the litigation funding as the new asset class, uh, which is not correlated to political uh, downturn and bring high returns. 
So I created an industry group that brought together uh, various uh, leading marketplaces in this space. And over the years, it just became a great platform for uh, deal origination and sort of exchanging ideas in this space. And the other thing I'd like to say on this anniversary really is, you know, how proud I am to be managing partner of what is, I think, a great London office with, you know, really bright and energetic people. And also just to say thank you also to my predecessor, Scott Burns, who really laid the foundations for everything that we have here today. I see Brown Rudnick growing and being even more successful than it is now. I'm extremely bullish on our opportunities. We're doing the best work for sophisticated clients in some of the biggest cities. I, I think we're going to continue to do that.